Welcome, dear viewers, to another journey through the cosmos on Celestial Chronicles. I'm your guide in the Celestial Odyssey, and today's exploration promises to be truly extraordinary. But before we embark on this cosmic adventure, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with our celestial discoveries. Now, fasten your seatbelts as we prepare to traverse the wonders of the universe together. Goliath challenges the Israelites. The Philistines, the ancient enemies of Israel, gathered their forces for war and invaded the land of Judah. They set up their camp at a place called Ephsdamim, near the town of Soko, which belonged to Judah. They also occupied the nearby town of Azekah. King Saul and the army of Israel mobilized and marched to meet them. They pitched their tents in the valley of Elah, a wide and fertile plain, where they made ready for battle. The Philistines and the Israelites faced each other on opposite sides of the valley, each occupying a hilltop. There was a ravine between them, where a brook flowed. Every day, for forty days, a giant warrior came out of the Philistine camp and challenged the Israelites to a duel. His name was Goliath, and he was from the city of Gath, one of the five Philistine cities. He was a fearsome sight, towering over everyone else. He measured nearly three meters in height, and his armor was made of bronze. He wore a bronze helmet on his head, and a coat of bronze scales that covered his chest and back. The coat alone weighed about 57 kilograms. He also had bronze greaves on his legs, and a bronze scimitar on his side. He carried a huge bronze javelin on his shoulder, with a shaft as thick as a weaver's rod. The iron point of the javelin weighed about 7 kilograms. He had a shield bearer who went before him, holding a large and heavy shield. Goliath came out and stood in front of the Philistine army, and shouted across the valley to the Israelites. He mocked them and their god, and defied them to send a champion to fight him. He said, Why do you come out and line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine, and are you not the servants of Saul? Choose a man and have him come down to me. If he is able to fight and kill me, we will become your subjects, but if I overcome him and kill him, you will become our subjects and serve us. I defy the ranks of Israel this day. Give me a man and let us fight each other. When Saul and all the Israelites heard these words, they were dismayed and terrified. They had no one who could match the strength and size of Goliath. They felt hopeless and helpless before him. David in Saul's camp. David was the son of Jesse, an Ephrathite from Bethlehem in Judah. Jesse had eight sons, and at the time Saul was king, he was already a very old man. His three eldest sons had gone with Saul to war. The eldest was Eliab, the next was Abinadab, and the third was Shammah. David was the youngest son, and while the three eldest brothers stayed with Saul, David would go back to Bethlehem from time to time to take care of his father's sheep. Goliath challenged the Israelites every morning and evening for forty days. One day Jesse said to David, Take ten kilograms of this roasted grain and these ten loaves of bread, and hurry with them to your brothers in the camp, and take these ten cheeses to the commanding officer. Find out how your brothers are getting on and bring back something to show that you saw them and that they are well. King Saul, your brothers, and all the other Israelites are in the valley of Elah fighting the Philistines. David got up early the next morning, left someone else in charge of the sheep, took the food, and went as Jesse had told him to. He arrived at the camp just as the Israelites were going out to their battle line, shouting the war cry. The Philistine and the Israelite armies took up positions for battle, facing each other. David left the food with the officer in charge of the supplies, ran to the battle line, went to his brothers, and asked how they were getting on. As he was talking to them, Goliath came forward and challenged the Israelites as he had done before, and David heard him. When the Israelites saw Goliath, they ran away in terror. Look at him, they said to each other. Listen to his challenge. King Saul has promised to give a big reward to the man who kills him. The king will also give him his daughter to marry and will not require his father's family to pay taxes. David asked the men who were near him, what will the man get who kills this Philistine and frees Israel from this disgrace? After all, who is this heathen Philistine to defy the army of the living God? They told him what would be done for the man who killed Goliath. Eliab, David's eldest brother, heard David talking to the men. He was angry with David and said, what are you doing here? Who is taking care of those sheep of yours out there in the wilderness? You cheeky brat, you. You just came to watch the fighting, now what have I done? David asked. Can I even ask a question? He turned to another man and asked him the same question, and every time he asked, he got the same answer. Some men heard what David had said, and they told Saul, who sent for him. David said to Saul, Your majesty, no one should be afraid of this Philistine, I will go and fight him. No, answered Saul, how could you fight him? You're just a boy, and he has been a soldier all his life. Your majesty, David said, I take care of my father's sheep. Whenever a lion or a bear carries off a lamb, I go after it, attack it, and rescue the lamb. And if the lion or bear turns on me, I grab it by the throat and beat it to death. I have killed lions and bears, and I will do the same to this heathen Philistine, who has defied the army of the living God. The Lord has saved me from lions and bears, he will save me from this Philistine. 
All right, Saul answered. Go, and the Lord be with you. He gave his own armor to David for him to wear, a bronze helmet, which he put on David's head, and a coat of armor. David strapped Saul's sword over the armor and tried to walk, but he couldn't, because he wasn't used to wearing them. I can't fight with all this, he said to Saul. I'm not used to it. So he took it all off. He took his shepherd's stick and then picked up five smooth stones from the stream and put them in his bag. With his sling ready, he went out to meet Goliath. David defeats Goliath. The Philistines started walking towards David, with his shield-bearer walking in front of him. He kept coming closer, and when he got a good look at David, he was filled with scorn for him because he was just a nice, good-looking boy. He said to David, what's that stick for? Do you think I'm a dog? And he called down curses from his god on David. Come on, he challenged David, and I will give your body to the birds and animals to eat. David answered, You are coming against me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the Israelite armies, which you have defied. This very day the Lord will put you in my power, I will defeat you and cut off your head, and I will give the bodies of the Philistine soldiers to the birds and animals to eat. Then the whole world will know that Israel has a God, and everyone here will see that the Lord does not need swords or spears to save his people. He is victorious in battle, and he will put all of you in our power. Goliath started walking towards David again, and David ran quickly towards the Philistine battle line to fight him. He put his hand into his bag and took out a stone, which he slung at Goliath. It hit him on the forehead and broke his skull, and Goliath fell face downwards on the ground. And so, without a sword, David defeated and killed Goliath with a sling and a stone. He ran to him, stood over him, took Goliath's sword out of its sheath, and cut off his head and killed him. When the Philistines saw that their hero was dead, they ran away. The men of Israel and Judah shouted and ran after them, pursuing them all the way to Gath and to the gates of Ekron. The Philistines fell wounded all along the road that leads to Sharaim, as far as Gath and Ekron. When the Israelites came back from pursuing the Philistines, they looted their camp. David picked up Goliath's head and took it to Jerusalem, but he kept Goliath's weapons in his own tent. David is presented to Saul. When Saul saw David going out to fight Goliath, he asked Abner, the commander of his army, Abner, whose son is he? I have no idea, your majesty, Abner answered. Then go and find out, Saul ordered. So when David returned to camp after killing Goliath, Abner took him to Saul. David was still carrying Goliath's head. Saul asked him, young man, whose son are you? I am the son of your servant Jesse from Bethlehem, David answered. And that concludes our cosmic journey for today on Celestial Chronicles. I hope you enjoyed exploring the mysteries of the universe with me. If you found this journey as fascinating as I did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow space enthusiasts. For more celestial wonders and cosmic revelations, subscribe to Celestial Chronicles and join our community. Until our next adventure among the stars.